In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to measure a curve line in Adobe Illustrator. So first, let me just remove my guidelines because we don't need them. By the way, I'm using a bias torso block in size 8. Okay, why do we need to uh, learn how to measure a curve line? It is because in pattern making, um, we need the measurement of the arm side for the front and the back for us to prepare our sleeves. All right. So only after we have compared our arm side measurements from our pattern and that of our client, are we able to prepare the sleeves, okay? So let's get started. First, we just need to make sure that we have the preference on units set on the uh, unit of measure that we're going to use. So mine will be inches. Maybe you'll be using centimeters. Just click on OK. All right. We will be using the scissors tool and document info which can be found on windows menu all right so let's go to document info here and make sure that there is a check mark on selection only and objects all right if we're going to measure the arm side of the front we just need to click on the scissors tool and click on the shoulder tip and the bottom of the armhole all right click on the armhole curve and now if we check on the document info it says here this front arm side measures 8.32 inches all right now we go to the back we do the same thing click on the scissors tool click on the shoulder tip and the bottom of the arm side and click on this portion and upon checking the document info it says our back arm side measures 7.37 inches okay adding the front arm side and the back arm side in this demonstration i have 15.69 inches all I need to do is compare it with the measurement that I have for my client or for my model. And whenever necessary, adjust it so that I'm at the ballpark of the measurement. All right. Only after I've compared and measured and ensured that I am at the ballpark, am I able to draft. Okay. I'm able to draft the pattern for the sleeves. All right. So this is how easy it is to measure the curve from the pattern. And you can also use this method when measuring your neckline for the front and the back. If you find this video tutorial helpful, please let me know by liking this video. And see you soon!